Hey subscribers of the GTS, hope you enjoyed my goofy little intro, but anyway, what's going on? This is CheeseBoy628 here today giving you an OU tier Pokemon Showdown battle, and let's get right into the preview. So I have a pretty offensive rain team, with my defensive core being a physically defensive Politoed and a specially defensive Swords Dance Celebi. The rest of my team is a Specs Lucario, specially oriented Jirachi, Scarf Latios, and Banded Caesar. Now looking at my opponent's team here, the biggest threat is definitely Landorus T. This team of mine definitely struggles with facing Landorus T in the physical forms of normal Landorus, because although I can take an Earthquake with Celebi, what can take a U-turn, so he'll have a lot of chances to gain momentum through U-turn. He also has Rotom Wash for a very annoying Volt Turn duo that I'm definitely going to have to try overcoming. His second biggest threat, second Orlando T, is definitely Jirachi, because it's so bulky while also having the potential to paralyze many of my pokes, and since two thirds of my pokes are offensive, being paralyzed will render them completely useless. So my checklist is number one, take out Lando T, and then number two, somehow render Jirachi useless or just take it out. Accomplishing those two tasks are the only way that I have a chance at winning this battle. So let's see how this battle goes. So he brings in Landorus T and I did go for a baton pass to see what he'd bring in and that way I'm able to bring in Latios and just go for a free rain boosted surf. Turns out I do get a crit on the incoming Jirachi which does a really nice chunk to it. A couple more will be able to take it out but he does reveal protect here which also comes with wish of course. So here he does go for the wish and then the protect is very obvious here but he definitely has to go for it. So now I have the opportunity to go into Jirachi. My goal here is just to go for the Thunder so I'm able to paralyze him, but he does go first and he gets the para and paralyzes me. And so when you have two Jirachis, of course it's going to be quite the crit fest. But anyway, he does go into Lander's T predicting my Thunder, but I'm just going to go for the rocks. It'll be very nice to get some residual damage on every incoming switch in. So I go for the BP with Caesar and do a decent amount on that Landorus T, but it's definitely a 2HKO from that Landorus T if it stays in to go for the EQ. But he knows that his Landorus T is very important to this game, which is why he switches out, but it still is nice that I have a decent amount of damage on it. Now Rotom Wash comes in and I don't want Caesar to take any more damage, so I'm going to go right into Celebi, easily counter the Rotom Wash, and I'm actually going to go for the Sword Stance. So, I have the opportunity of Baton passing into Caesar to do quite a bit of damage on the Drachi, but he does paralyze me here, which is kind of good because he won't think of body slamming my eventually incoming Caesar. Thankfully I do break through the paraflinch, get in my Caesar here, and I want to go for that U-turn. Unfortunately he's going to flinch me here and I have no other choice but to go for the BP. So if this is the standard specially defensive Rachi, then I would have had over 50% chance of taking it out with a U-turn as you can tell by this calculation. But anyway, I bring in my Jirachi here and it's really just going to be a hacks fest. Because my goal here is to break through the paralysis and just keep hitting this Rachi with water pulses and thunders until I get it paralyzed and confused. But definitely getting it paralyzed will be important. I'm kind of worried here that he's going to go into Lando T, which is why I'm kind of restraining from going for the Thunder, but finally I see that he seems to want to stay in, so I'm finally able to fortunately get Jirachi paralyzed. Now I'm still going for the Water Pulses in case he tries Wish Passing to his Lando T, but he actually manages to Wish Pass to his Rotom Wash because my Water Pulse is just not able to take him out, and now his Rotom Wash is at a much better amount of health. 
So I'm staying in here just to get enough damage on this thing where it'll eventually die from poison and potentially rocks if it tries switching in ever again. So that's why I do go into Celebi here to take whatever he wants to give me. And it turns out he goes for the Hydro Pump and it would have been really close here as you can tell because it does just about half of what I had. So it would have been very close as how much health I would have lived with if I did live from that second Hydro Pump. But anyway, now he has an opportunity to go into Lando T. I've got to keep Celebi around, and so I go into my physically defensive Politoed, really just as dead fodder because it can't do much more anymore. So now he does go into Caldeo, and it'll easily take me out with the Surf. But the thing is, I don't know if it's Scarf, Specs, Expert Belt. I'll have to find out after a bit more of scouting. So I do bring in Latios, and I'll definitely outspeed since I'm Scarfed. And I'm just going to drop a Draco on this Jirachi here, but it doesn't do too much, unfortunately. So I'm going to take this opportunity to go into Lucario because it's really my only chance of damaging it. But it turns out my opponent thinks that I'm the physical variant of Lucario. So when I show him that Specs or Sphere, I'm able to clean take him out and that is task one complete for me. So now he brings in Caldeo and I know that Celebi can wall Caldeo pretty well. So I'm going to take this opportunity to just come in and now I can get a free chance to recover off. Now he brings in Jirachi and that thing is just going to wall me for days so I have to go out to my own Jirachi as a chance to maybe get some lefties recovery. So that's all I'm going to do here, I'm going to go for some water pulses and fortunately enough he actually brings in Terrakion on my water pulse which does a really nice chunk, unfortunately doesn't confuse but it still puts him in a very revengeable range because now I can come in with Latios and I can easily press Surf and just take out that big threat. So now he brings in Jirachi again and the thing is I just can't safely switch in anything necessarily because he can body slam anything. As you can see here he does body slam my Latios and paralyzes me so my only chance is to hopefully take him out with a couple Surfs. He is now in a range where I can take him out but he doesn't get paralyzed and he's able to protect and now he's at a nice amount of health again. And the thing is, Latios is scarfed, and it's paralyzed, so it's pretty much useless. So I'm just going to stay in here until he iron heads me to death, and I'm also going to try to get as much damage on him as possible. So now I think he's in a range where Specs Lucario can take him out, but he lives with a very small amount, but he does get paralyzed, so I'm able to just take him out the next turn. Now all he has left is Caldeo and Latios, and I know Celebi is very key in walling both of those. So I'm actually going to go into Celebi now, take the Surf fairly well, and I'm going to be able to recover off all of the damage. Now the thing is though, he brings in Latios, and he actually tricks me his Choice Scarf. Fortunately I did go for the Seed Bomb, so I am locked in the Seed Bomb, my only offensive move, and so I'm going to be able to wither this Latios down as he tries taking me out with Draco Meteor but it doesn't even do half, so I know I'm safe being in here. Now I go for the Seed Bomb again, and he goes to 1%, and I see this as an opportunity. My opponent's mindset right now is probably just thinking he should sack his Latios right now, so he has a free switch and a Caldeo. And I still don't know what item Caldeo is holding, or what moves it has besides Surf and Secret Sword. So if Caldeo does have any moves that are super effective to Celebi, I am definitely not in a health range that is able to take any of those hits. So, I'm going to go into Lucario to easily take the Draco Meteor since he is at minus 6. Now I have the opportunity of going back into Celebi and taking anything this Latio still has to give me. He ends up going for the Surf thinking I'd stay in with Lucario, but I come in with Celebi, take it very easily, and I can just recover off all that damage. He goes for the Draco, which still does very little, and I'm able to get off one more recover. Now the Caldeo does come in, and I'm just going to fodder off my Lucario. Now little did I know, when I come back in with my Celebi, although I have very little speed investment, I do outspeed this Caldeo. It turns out that it was actually Specs, and it's been doing Specs damage this whole time with the Surf, as you can tell by this calculation here. So, I'm able to take out the Caldeo after two Seed Bombs, and then get an unnecessary crit with this Seed Bomb here, and take out the Latios for a narrow 1-0 victory. So that was an amazing battle, Sugar Heart. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed my video here, please do come over and check out my channel if you like the content there. Please do subscribe. It would be amazing to have you on board. I upload daily and have over 100 battles for you all to watch. 
I also do Pokemon Showdown Lives and Tier Guides to help you out with various tiers of different kinds of teams. I plan on starting Wi-Fi battling extremely soon, so that will definitely be added to my channel, and hopefully if you guys want me back, I will absolutely upload a Wi-Fi battle to this channel. I absolutely love constructive criticism and only want to provide content for you to all enjoy. So with that said, thank you all for watching, like, comment, sub, and until later, peace.